Hey, how are you doing AP Cost students? It's Mr. Clifford. It's time for a quick overview of macroeconomics unit four, monetary policy. You're going to start off this unit by talking about money in general. You talk about what money is and what makes it good and why is it better than the barter system. Then you'll talk about the three functions of money. And then you'll talk about M1, M2, and M3, general ideas about what money is and what it's used for. Okay, from there you're going to talk about banking. You're going to talk about balance sheets and assets and liabilities and stuff like that. You can move past all that stuff that you have to memorize and start moving to the meat and potatoes which is talking about monetary policy, increasing and decreasing money supply to kind of speed up or slow down the economy. You're going to learn the main key graph, which is the money market, the supply and demand for money. You're going to find out the demand curve is downward sloping, but the supply is vertical and set by the Fed. And you'll talk about the three ways the government, the Fed, can control the money supply. Make sure you learn open market operation, which is buying and selling of government bonds. And you have to understand something called the money multiplier. Now pay attention, it's the idea that when money goes into banks, it doesn't just stay in the bank, it gets re-loaned out. And so money gets multiplied as banks take in money, they loan out some of it, and that eventually goes to another bank and they loan out some of it and it gets multiplied. The trick to this unit is interest rates. You have to understand the idea of interest rates and how it affects investment and consumption. All right, if interest rates are high, what is that gonna do for investment? In your brain, tell yourself, investment is when businesses take out loans for their own business. That's what investment is, not personal investment, not stocks and bonds. For you, it's for companies taking out loans, right? So a high interest rate is a bad thing. A what? A bad thing for a firm, right? They're gonna take out a high interest rate, and so that would decrease their investment. You're gonna learn about nominal interest rates and real interest rates. Make sure you understand those concepts, because they're super important. Good luck, till next time.